Hi everyone, it's Adam with Miles Restoration and I've got a furniture flipping video for you today and I'm also going to be kind of doing like a little bit of an overview of my process so I'll be talking a little bit more just about you know the general things that I do kind of day in day out when it comes to just moving pieces through the door so if that's something that you're interested in you want to learn more about that then this is going to be a good video for you. So when it comes to cleaning now, I'm basically just using Dawn dish soap or crud cutter and I'll just, you know, spray that on, wipe it with a microfiber or a damp towel and a scotch Brite, and then I'll rinse it with water. But in this case, I'm using 80% naphtha, 20% acetone, and that's just because I was kind of in a hurry. But that's not typically something that I use, and you definitely want to be careful when you're using chemicals like that. But they do work pretty well. So, you know, kind of just something that can be used if you absolutely have to. So my sanding process now is basically just, I use a Merkup sander with a 180 or 220 for the flat surfaces after I've cleaned everything. And then I come back with a surf prep pad. Either I just use my hand and sand in the curved areas or I'll put it on the sander like I did in this case. And I'll use like the flexible foam pads for the curved areas. And then in between top coats, I use the surf prep sander basically exclusively and I just use, I use like surf prep super fine grit, but I use different types of pads. So I'll use the flat or the firm pads on the flat surfaces. And then I'll use the thicker, more flexible interface foam for the curved surfaces like I am here. But the only difference is that I'm using a higher grit in between top coats. So for primers, I'm basically just using vinyl sealer sprayed out of a airless sprayer or a cup gun on an air compressor. I'm using some oil-based primer that I had left over in this case, but this is definitely not my go-to. And the vinyl sealer works very well. I've had very few adhesion issues, if any, and it block stains very well, and it gives me the least trouble, and you can sand it very quickly. So that's definitely going to be something that I will probably not be changing anytime soon. Vinyl sealer, any, any brand vinyl sealer really, Duralac, Centurion, or Bohawk, all those brands work great.
one thing that I've left out that I want to kind of quickly add on the sanding in between primer coats you could definitely just use like a fine pad which is like 180 to 220 or maybe even very fine from surf prep on the flat surfaces as well as those curved surfaces and probably be okay you just want to sand back the primer to where it's smooth and nice and flat and you don't really have any orange peel in it that's really the only kind of aim that you have So I'm just getting my airless sprayer primed and ready to go here. I'm using a 308 tip and I've got probably like a 25 foot hose on it that I use. I try to use as short of a hose as possible. Saves paint. And I'm running like four box fans for ventilation. That's kind of the setup that I have now with, uh, with filters over them. So I'm also using the new gallery series in the color Tinsmith. This is Sherman Williams' new 1K product that I was kind of mentioned earlier that I'm testing. They gave me some to test out, and I like it a lot. Uh, I mean, it has nothing to do with the YouTube channel. Like, you know, Sherman Williams didn't, like, find me on YouTube and then give me this product. This is just because I'm a painter, and I buy paint at my local Sherman Williams, and they know that I do furniture. So they gave me some uh, gallery series to try. And I really like it. It's got really good vertical hang. It's not too sensitive like a lot of 1K products are. And also just like water-based lacquers, a lot of them tend to run. I didn't have any of those issues. It sprayed very well. Didn't get a lot of bubbles or anything like that. And the color is Tinsmith by Bear. So it's kind of like a light gray color. And the sheen is like a 40 or 60 sheen. I forget what they say that it was. But it's somewhere between the satin and semi gloss. So I did two top coats in total, and with the exception that I had to respray one side because I did get one run. And as far as avoiding run goes, you know, runs for any kind of paint sprayer, generally speaking with airless sprayers, it's not going to be necessarily determined on how many passes you make. It's going to be determined on how close you get with the gun. So if you get really close with the gun, 
then there's a good chance that you will get a run. If you maintain, you know, like six to ten inches from the surface and make pretty quick quick passes, but you know, you make a couple passes, you'll probably be all right. The only exception to that is that when I spray the tops, no matter what you do, you're gonna get a little bit of overspray from the sides on the tops. So I spray the tops last, but I do spray them pretty heavy. So I went and picked up some new hardware for Lowe's and they were kind of like a brass or champagne color. I had to countersink a little bit to where that the screw would make it all the way through the drawer front. And after that, that was it. Just got everything put back together and got it ready for some pictures. Overall, I'd say that I was really happy with this Sherwin-Williams Gallery Series product and I definitely plan on using it in the future. It was just really came out to be a consistent looking product. I was really happy with it. But if you enjoy this video and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and thanks for watching.